Hey, trucked up guys and gals. Hey, as you know, I've had this truck for a little while now. I did a video just last time out about how I've reached 10,000 miles with my F-150 Lightning XLT, 16,000 kilometers. Since then, I'm now at 20,000 kilometers. And I'll tell you this, as you know, I love this truck. You are so beautiful. To me. But what might come as a surprise is this is not my first choice. In fact, it was my third choice with an F-150 Lightning. And I don't think that this truck should be your first choice with an F-150 Lightning either. And here's why. You love trucks, all trucks. You haul and tow, snow wheel and off-road. Take the kiddies to softball practice and your sweetie to lover's lookout. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. Well, here it is. The 2024 Lightning Pro kicks everybody's butt, including other Lightning trims. For the money and the value, there is simply no better electric truck on the market today. Think about it. In the U.S., we're looking at a starting price of $49,995, and that's MSRP which we all know is about as honest and inflated as that dude in Namibia who, who keeps trying to send you all the kingdom's wealth if you would just send him the $100 Walmart gift card. And that price is also before any federal, state, or uh, provincial incentives are factored in. So right there is, well, that's pretty sweet to begin with, don't you think? But forget all of that. What about the truck itself compared to another Lightning, or a Rivian, or a Tesla Cybertruck in any trim, or a GMC Hummer? See? Right there alone, it is stupid cheap compared to absolutely everything else in every other trim. But forget all of that too. What about what you get for the life savings that is about to get sucked out of your bank account, your pants pocket, your retirement nest egg, and that stolen stash you have buried in the backyard? Well, let's not talk about that publicly. The list is pretty freaking long, but let's forget all of that too. Okay, okay, let's not. Take your thumb off the up next YouTube video tab, okay? Don't leave me in YouTube limbo. I'll deliver the butt kicks, all 10. Ready? Butt kicker number 10. The Pro has the automatic frunk. Yeah, you still get the mega frunk with all the top end power lift and close stuff. Just like the XLT, the Lariat, the Platinum, all of them. Able to carry a whopping 180 kilograms or 400 pounds. <laughs> Butt kicker number nine. The Pro comes with the base Pro Power on board. And hey, starting in 2024, the XLT no longer comes with the full 9.6 kilowatts included, which means the higher trim offers no benefit above the base one. The good news is that you can still upgrade the Pro to the full 9.6 kilowatt option, just like the higher trims, if you need the 240 volt plug along with four 20 amp 110 volt outlets in the bed. Ooh. But kicker number eight, both the Pro and XLT come only in standard range in 2024, giving no advantage to the XLT to upgrade over the Pro. Uh, so how can this be a good thing when compared to other EV trucks on the market, you say? Well, my XLT often beats the EPA rating of 386 kilometers or 240 miles, hitting an average 400 kilometers or 250 miles in the summer. That's on par with the base single motor Cybertruck that, by the way, costs $20,000 more US. And that brings us to Aye. butt kicker number seven. This thing has two, count them, two freaking motors. I mean, holy cave going on Batman. Let's dwell on this for a moment, shall we? If we were to compare this thing with any other gas work truck and start processing what this means for the price, 
there's nothing that can match it. Go ahead and add the 4x4 option to your base model work truck. Then add anything that comes, I don't know, within a green freaking mile of the horsepower, torque, and features. And then throw in the last three butt kicks I already highlighted and let me know what the numbers start to look like. <laughs> butt kicker number six. Well, I think I just said it. Yep, full-time, all-wheel drive is a standard feature along with a locking front differential. I mean, Ford could have been real giga wieners here and cut buckets of things from this truck, but their strategy is actually kind of smart. Simplify the production process and avoid having to create multiple lines or teams to produce the same bloody thing, which eliminates miles of complexity and means the base trim gets all kinds of add-on yummies. Who benefits from this? You do. <coughs> Butt kicker number five. And at this point, I want to thank all my trucked up folk for bringing this channel to its goals of getting past the magic 1,000 subscribers. Holy smokes, I can't believe how fast the channel's grown already. I have officially made enough from this channel since I launched it for a new pair of sneakers, as long as they're in the discount rack. I'm hoping that you can help me do more of what I love more often by helping me fund some of the outdoor on the road shenanigans I'm planning if I can afford to get there. Any help is appreciated. And most importantly, please like, subscribe, and click that bell notification icon to keep the YouTube gods appeased and my channel growing. Thank you so much. Now, where was I? Right. Butt kick five. Four drive modes from all the other trims are also included in the base Lightning Pro. There's no settling for second best because normal, sport, off-road, and tow haul modes are all included and all work incredibly well. Y you can see why this trim was beyond a doubt my first choice. <laughs> Butt kicker number four. Can you even imagine that all the collision avoidance, driver assistance technology, Ford's Copilot 360 is still included in their bottom base model? I've never seen this before, where so many pluses are kept for the bare bones package, but they are, which is just outstanding value for the money. Oh. Butt kicker number three. You know how base trims, the exterior, you know, comes with a plastic bumper and maybe a mirror? Well, brace your keister as the boot approaches as we perform Glutamus Maximus liftoff. <laughs> Big inhale for this one. <gasps> 12 inch touchscreen, in sync 4 with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, automatic high beams, full spare tire, all terrain tires, SOS post crash alert system, front tow hooks, cargo tie downs, power lock tailgate, LED projector, dynamic bending headlights, remote keyless entry system, and auto hold. And that's just the exterior, which brings us to butt kicker number two. <laughs> Ever notice that base trim work truck interiors, you know, come with, I don't know, AM radio, a cigarette lighter, even though no one smokes anymore, and a fan, if you're lucky. Well, then strap yourself to your lazy boy because this steel-toed boot will make you scream like Mikey Ow! and launch your hiney into the attic. This comes with a truckload of standard features that I can't find any bare bones pickup even coming close to matching. Okay, big breath again, here I go. This is like deep sea snorkel diving. <gasps> Dual zone electronic automatic temperature controls, cruise control, post collision braking, driver and passenger grab handles, outside temperature display, reverse sensing system, 12 inch center stack screen, built in navigation, push, push button start, lane keeping assistant, auto dimming rear view, tilt, telescopic mattress, steering wheel and 60 40 flip up seats with a long gated cushion. <gasps> oh, yeah. An easy clean, full work grade vinyl flooring and seating. Ta da! You made it to the number one butt kicker. <laughs> and the number one reason why this is by far the best EV work truck your money can buy and the reason why an F-150 Lightning Pro isn't sitting in my driveway in place of my 2023 XLT. And here it is. You can now buy the freaking things for crying out loud. These beautiful base level working folks electric pickup trucks weren't available unless you were buying for a fleet. I tried countless times to get my grubby little hands on one, but by the time they were open to the public here in Canada to buy, I was looking at well over another year of waiting, possibly two. You don't have that misfortune anymore. You can just go to the Ford.ca Canada site or the Ford.com in the US and just build and price one of these things like you would any other trim. And it's about freaking time. 
the only way electric trucks will ever be accepted by the average trucked up guy or gal is if the manufacturers start treating buyers with more respect and the trucks are treated more like a real truck. Always, thank you so much for watching.